All right, one more on the NBA hardwood here with the Grizzlies and the Trailblazers, uh, two teams that are you know, trying to grow a little bit. Grizzlies are there already as far as uh, what they're expected. They just don't have their full roster. We know that, but you got to cast that aside. You can't keep, you know, using that as part of your um, as part of your methodology in handicapping this team. Uh, I see the talking, and I'm doing it here right now. John Moran, John Moran, John Moran. It's not a factor right now. I mean, this, we're only five games into the season. There's still 20 to go. you got to operate with what you got right now. Grizzlies got a good franchise. I'm putting John Morant in the reverse chemistry department here, uh, probably moving forward because of what keeps happening, right, Memphis. Look, right now it feels pretty good, uh, you know, for Memphis to be 0-6, given the fact that they, they don't have their troublemaking star. Uh, that's got to put a lot of pressure on your shoulders right now. They haven't – well, they've been bad, let's just face it, but um, they're favored here on the road against a Portland team that's won three games so far. So – you know, you tell me what gives here. Now, I know that the Grizzlies, maybe they're getting a little bit uh, healthier, but not. it's just not John Morant. So everybody wants to talk about, you know, Stephen Adams. He's lost for the season. We know how important he was. And, uh, you know, that I mean, that was an injury a long time ago. Uh, Brandon Clark, we know all that, right? So there are other issues. Yeah, even Derrick Rose. So uh, just a rough start to the season here. I know Portland is very bad, and uh, they're missing their young star as well. So you have two bad teams here, but I've got to take it. Uh, I've got to take Portland. Got to take Portland. That's all I can do is take Portland. Brent says they get their win, but that would be a Portland cover at this point because I'm showing it up to three at some spots. In fact, I'm yeah, um, showing two and a half. So I'm showing threes. And, uh, you know, maybe this is a spot. Memphis is favored, whatever. Total here has dropped as well to 217.5 from a high opener of 219.5. So we just went through the whole card. And, yes, indeed, it was true. Uh, all, all the totals did go down from their opening, opening them. That's a fact. That's a fact. We just went through them all, and all the totals went down. This one went down two points as well. To 17 and a half. So we'll see. We'll see. I mean, probably I'm interested. I'm interested. But uh, give me Portland here in this one to get. Hey, they're three and three uh, here. Yeah, some of them were with it with Simons and uh, Henderson is out as well. Um, Sharp is in. Sharp is in. Camara, uh, uh, he's questionable. He's an interesting looking player. No doubt about it. Uh, they might have something there. Not a, you know. Someone who can contribute, been impressed so far a little bit with Camara. So now it's, maybe I could look a little bit at the matchup. Want to see him here a little bit. And uh, maybe look at a little bit of personnel, see who I like in this game. Okay. Oh, wow. For Memphis. Okay. For Memphis, probably just. Uh, Williams again. Williams continues to look pretty good, and uh, against uh, Thibault, uh, he probably should be able to do something for sure. That would be a little bit of a concern, but look, uh, uh, for Bain, I don't know. I mean, Sharp's in, an interesting, you know, for a young player, Sharp can get after it a little bit. I look for him to be, uh, you know, the reason why he'll be end up being a good player, I think, is he can play some defense. I don't think we're seeing it just yet because of his youth, but I like the matchups tonight. Brogdon, look, you got to feel for a guy like Brogdon, right? But he can have a big game here and he could have a big season with Portland, especially once they get their players back. I think Portland's going to be a team. Every once to, you know, they're three and three right now. Every wants to cast them aside as one of the worst teams in the league. Will they make the playoffs? Maybe not. Can they challenge for the playoffs? They might be able to. Their depth isn't there. But look, do you like Brogdon? I like Brogdon. Do you like Sharp? I like Sharp. Do uh, you know? Uh, you like the players that are out right now on the uh, injury list? Of course you do. Those guys are you know, those guys are great. Uh, uh, Simons. And uh, Scoop, uh, Scoot, <laughs> Scoot, Scoop, I keep wanting to say Scoop Jackson. Remember, Scoop Jackson is still around, by the way. Scoot, 
uh, those guys, right? Uh, good. So Portland, forget about it. Portland will be a team that we can make money with, I think, down the line, because I think that people think they're one of the worst. And yeah, they're in the bottom sector, right? They're going to have to fight to just try to get to the playoffs. And uh, But I don't I don't think they're a 20-win team. I think that so those that looks like good. I, the reason why I'm happy with, for Portland and and for for Dame, uh, you know what you you make the move. You say, hey, look, we've got it. We're not going to do it, Dame. We want you to go on. Whatever we'll build, and they and they've started right now, and so far so good for Portland. All right. 